guys this is Chitrang Dixit and today I will show you how to visualize your Python programs so let us look at our pro Python programs we have some basic programs of addition multiplications for loop and while loop we'll just copy the piece of code from here and paste in a great tutor called pythontutor.com this is a great tool to visualize your Python programs so I'll just copy the piece of code it's just a simple addition program I'll click on visualize execution and what it does it takes up the whole program into its hierarchy and my, when I click forward button it takes the variables into frames so x variable is assigned 12345 this is one frame y variable is assigned 5,43,267 this is the another frame and z would get the addition of the previous two variables all right so z would be assigned 5,55,612 and when i hit forward button again i'll get the print to sir so here's how i've got the flow of my python program how variables gets the values and which variable gets the addition value so this is how you make your programs more easier to understand now let us edit the code and try some more complex code in it so I'm pasting program to find average of the two numbers All right when I click visualize execution it would be assigned 12 B would be assigned 78 now C would get the average of these two numbers alright I click forward button I'll get 45 and it gets printed out right now let's take some more better examples for example follow so I'm pasting this piece of code into my Python tutor here I click visualize execution I have taken one list named ABC this list has lots of element list is a collection of elements so I have collection of strings in it and I have written the first element as C slash C plus plus Java dot net Python PHP and objective C so when I hit forward button what I get is one frame named as ABC and its reference has been passed to objects these objects are C slash C plus plus Java dot net Python PHP and objective C we have also got the offset number of each element of the list so C slash C plus plus would be at the index 0 Java would be at the index 1 dot net would be at the index 2 and so on so let's see how program works so what for loop does it, it takes up the whole list ABC and it assigns each element per iteration into the variable co so when it first executes it checks that abc has any value to be assigned to co so at the very first time it assigns c slash c plus plus the next is it assigns java and so on so when i click forward button and get the forward button i know c slash c plus plus in the same way the whole program gets executed so you are looking at the value of CO which gets a change every time I hit up the forward button All right objective C and this was the last element so the program gets terminated All right now let's look up new program of while loop so here's the program paste up into my tutor visualize execution B is first assign the value 1 so we have the frame global frame with the variable B which is assigned 1 now I hit forward button it would check out the B if B is less than or equal to 10 so B is the initial value of B is 1 so it's obviously less than 10 so it prints out B and it increments B so you are looking at the value B uh, value of b has got an increment by 1 so it has turned now 2 so in the same way the whole loop 
works until I get to 10 8 9 and when I get 10 now when I hit forward button the program gets terminated here is the terminate so ultimately the value of B has got incremented to 11 right. when it found that the value of B is 11 that is not less than or equal to 10 so the loop gets terminated but it has printed out the value 11 as we have stated in the last statement known as print B so this was the whole set of programs that I wanted you to know how the flow works so this was the tutorial about how programs work in Python interpreter I hope you have enjoyed the tutorial thanks for watching